Hello everyone, I have a new satellite image of Berdyansk Air Base for you to look at here. Before we check the new image out, let's check out the last one that we had from January the 12th, which was originally shared by Copeshaw on Twitter. This is the one on screen now, so you can see that this airfield is now used for helicopters. At the time, we can see that the eastern section of the base is enclosed by a trench and there are 17 helicopters visible. So here is the latest image, shared by M.T. Anderson, this one from March 1st. So we can see that Russia continues to fortify Berdyansk Air Base, likely from potential sabotage in the region and partisan activity. A long zigzag trench is under construction, spanning the base from south to north. There is also a large trench being built on the northern side of the runway. I assume this is going to advance towards the north, but it does look different than the other trench, larger and with more earth visible. Although that may just be because the earth hasn't been hauled away yet. Or, another explanation, the one to the south was made by a specialised trenching machine and the northern one is being built by hand. The eastern side of the runway is now fully boxed in by a straight defensive trench on all sides. Originally, I thought the plan was that just the eastern side of the runway was going to be used as a helicopter base. But we can now also see a number of helicopters on the eastern side too. Whoops, dropped my biscuit in my tea. Here we can see 13 helicopters, so less than before. That could of course be because of losses, but it could just as easily be because the helicopters have been deployed to another base or are carrying out missions of some kind. In the bottom right corner, you can see two helicopters off the runway. Maybe these ones launched from here and they've been spaced out a bit as protection, or this could be a sort of small maintenance depot. Nearby, you can also see a small earthwork containing berms for vehicles. I'm guessing for utility vehicles which operate at the base. Fuel tankers, trucks, that sort of thing. So the big question is, can this base be hit? Well, it is out of range of high Mars as seen here. But we have seen strikes targeting this airfield or near this airfield in the past. So Ukraine can hit it with drones of course. And of course they have hit much further afield than this. They also have the Turkish system which has a range of around 150 kilometers. But though we've seen that one in Ukraine, we haven't seen much of it in use. I personally suspect that training for it is still going on. So drones are looking like the best option to target this base and give it a bit of a clackering. But the fact it hasn't been targeted for a while could be that Ukraine has prioritised other targets or that the base is pretty well protected. So the focus is on weaker targets and gaps in the SAM coverage. Like the recent drone strikes that we saw at Tuapse oil field, which is actually in Russia itself. So that's it for this video, not too much else to discuss, if you found it interesting please click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.